Here we have the graph of some function f of x, and we're going to evaluate some limits at its specific points along this graph from the left and from the right. First, let's take a look at the limit as x approaches 6 from the right. The limit as x approaches 6 from the right of this graph, well, from the right side of the graph, the graph is heading towards a point that would have a y value of 5. The limit as x approaches 6 from the right is 5. The limit as x approaches 6 now from the left, from the left, in this case from the left it's going to the same spot. From the, from the left it's approaching that same point which has a y value of 5. The limit as x approaches 6 from the left is also 5. This means that the limit as x approaches 6, a two-sided limit, since it approaches 5 from the left and the right, that's the definition of a limit. If the limit approaches a value from the left and it approaches the same value from the right, that's what's known as the two-sided limit. The limit as x approaches 6 of f of x equals 5. The actual value of f of 6 may or may not be the same thing as the one-sided limits. In this case, the actual value of f of 6, the point on this function where the x-coordinate is 6, is actually 6 comma 2. So f of 6 equals 2. That has nothing to do with the limit in this case because a limit is just concerned with the location the graph is moving towards or appears to be approaching from the left and right. The fact that the actual point at x equals 6 is 6 comma 2 does not relate to the limit in this case. Let's now take a look at some limits as x approaches 1. The limit as x approaches 1 from the right, from the right side, this graph is approaching a point that would have a y value of negative 2. The limit as x approaches 1 just from the right side, and I'm, I don't care what the graph does when, when evaluating the limit as x approaches 1 from the right, I'm not concerned with what's happening on the graph to the left of x equals 1, I'm only concerned with where the graph is approaching from the right. And from the right, it's approaching a point, although it does not actually get there, it's approaching a point that would have a y value of negative 2. The limit as x approaches 1 from the right is negative 2. The limit as x approaches 1 from the left, when evaluating the limit from the left as x gets close to 1, I will ignore what the graph is doing to the right of x equals 1, and only concentrate on what the graph is doing from the left. And from the left, it's approaching a point that would have a y value of 4. The limit as x approaches 1 from the left is equal to 4. Now, the two-sided limit, the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x, does not exist because from the right side, it's approaching negative 2, and from the left side, it's approaching 4. Because this graph is not approaching the same point from both sides, the limit is said to not exist. By definition, if the limit from the right is different from the limit uh, from the left, the two-sided limit does not exist. The actual value of f of 1, as you can see in this case, there is a filled in dot at the point 1 comma 4, f of 1 equals 4. Finally, let's take a look at the x value of negative 4 and evaluate the limits as x approaches negative 4 from the left and right. First, from the right, this is pretty straightforward and similar to the limit as x approaches 6 from the right. In this case, the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the right is approaching a point. It doesn't get to that point, as designated by this open circle, but it's approaching a point that would have a y value of 2. The limit as x approaches negative 4 from the right is 2. The limit as x approaches negative 4 from the left Let's not concern ourselves with what the graph is doing from the right. Only from the left, I can see that it's approaching that same point. From the left, this graph is approaching a point that would have a y value of 2. Because the limit from the right and from the left of negative 4 is approaching the same value of 2, that is said to be the answer for the two-sided limit, the limit as x approaches negative 4 of f of x. It's also 2. However, the actual value of f of negative 4 is undefined. If you look above and below the value of x equals negative 4, there's not a filled in dot anywhere on this graph, so the graph is not defined when x equals negative 4.